Hello and welcome to the Grey Quarter Heist. A Thief's Two Found Mission by Grow, aka Taylor. Uh, it doesn't have a briefing video, so let's read the text. I've been contacted by a strange businessman named Ben Asra. Normally I wouldn't bother, but there were two things that raised my interest. First, the amount of gold he offered. Second, the man himself. His skin was black, an uncommon sight in the city. He offered me the job on behalf of his client, who wishes to remain incognito. The task seems simple enough. Break into a shop in Greywater, belonging to an alchemist named Blasio. Take his valuable recipe book, supposedly stuffed in a safe or something, and leave in one piece. The contact also gave me a simple map of the area, which might prove helpful. The only restriction my client gave was to avoid killing anyone during the job, but considering my skills, this shouldn't be a problem. According to the brief message my contact wrote me on the map, he provided, My best bet to enter Greywater is through its sewer system, as the streets are supposed to be very well guarded, even during night time. No surprise, considering this area is popular among rich noblemen. However, this should be a nice opportunity to fetch a few trinkets while on my way to earn some extra cash. The target shop is in a place called Greywater Market, residing in the western parts of the city. Though I'm not very much interested in history, I found out something interesting. Centuries ago, this quarter was founded by a former pirate named Captain Greyquarter, hence the name of the district. Later, his land was recognized by the Baron and granted a title in exchange for leaving the city's trade alone and maybe targeting the competition instead. Nevertheless, the Greyquarter family accumulated quite a lot of wealth and operated in the area as a separate town until the city grew large enough and absorbed it. Captain Greyquarter was also rumored to have some treasure hidden in the area, never to be found by his successors or anyone. Despite large-scale constructions and renovations that drastically changed the area in the past few years. The legend of this treasure seems to be just wild rumours made up by bored townspeople. Still, while I'm here, I should take a look around and see if this treasure really exists and could be retrieved by me. The night will fall soon. It's time to move. Alright, let's begin. Do we get any extra objectives? We maybe do. Okay. The streets of Great Water are heavily guarded, but the sewers aren't so. The High Town Pumping Station should be an easy way to infiltrate the sewers. Your client wants you to steal a valuable alchemy recipe book owned by a local alchemist named Blasio. While you're on your way for the book, grab some additional loot. Steal at least 1600. Any person could turn out to be an important character in the storyline, and killing them could break the plot. Don't kill anyone. That's a very strange motivation for Garrett to have, I will have to say. Garrett to have. Oh, I would better not kill this person, they might break the plot. Uh, after you've finished your mission, leave Greywater either by the Boathouse Canal Street Watch Station or by returning to your starting point. Captain Greywater, founder of the area, was a well-known pirate. Rumor has it he stashed his treasure somewhere around. See if you can prove these rumors to be true. Optional. Okay, that was 2200. The sewers are connected to more than just the alchemy shop. It wouldn't be difficult to find 2200 gold. And Greywater is considered a rich area. It shouldn't even be a challenge for you to collect worth 2800 gold. Well. They do say there's also other objectives and stuff that turn up. Um, but let's try Expert, uh, I guess. If it shouldn't be a challenge to collect 2800 gold, that implies there's a lot more than 2800 gold in the level. I mean, I could be reading too much into it. The thing that's a little weird was the, uh, the comment that, uh, you know, the guy with dark skin that's uncommon in uh, the city. Well, no, I mean, there's lots of, lots of uh, guards with... Uh, with dark skin. I mean, yes, Thief 1 had uh, <laughs> basically one ethnicity. Thief 2 made the city much more of a melting pot, which is really what it would have been. Anyway, distracting uh, distractions. I'm getting sidetracked as my brain likes to do. Let's actually go steal stuff. Immediately arrive and hear spiders. That's that's a that's a good promising start, isn't it? Francis F, chief engineers. Work hours Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. My door is locked for a reason. I'm working on a very important project which needs complete concentration, and I don't want to be disturbed. My job requirements don't include lock picking. My working hours are between 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. If you need something, come back in the morning. Unless there is some dire situation which only I could solve. Leave me alone. Francis, Chief Engineer. P.S. A dirty money box from the sewers is not anything urgent. 
don't know if that guy would be uh, suspicious to us. Okay. The love picks are gonna flash bomb and some flares there. Five broadheads, five water arrows, two rope arrows. Okay. <coughs> Where's our map? And the notes page comes first, which is unusual. Alright, where are we starting? Garrett, there are several entrances into Greyquarter Market, but your best bet would be to gain entry via the sewer system. I've marked the possible exits from the sewers that I'm aware of. It might help you to navigate around the area, but beware, the streets are heavily guarded. Good luck, B. Okay, so this is this, this overlay, dotted overlay is the sewers. Uh, so we're in this little courtyard. There's a street running north, south, and bending east next to it. Start here. Oh, right. Uh, I guess this is the chief engineer of the sewer station. Oh, right, I can't open that gate. I can open these doors. Can't the guy map around here? Can I pick this lock? I can, so this would be the best way to the sewers, right? I'm working on something that needs my complete concentration and my complete snoring ability as well. It's very important work. Oh man, it's just sound like you're having trouble breathing. Ow. There's two of you there. Show thyself. Did you say something? I should have. <coughs> I should have uh, been cuttable, but apparently not. It's not having a secret, is it? <coughs> you don't have a key or anything. <coughs> I mean, there isn't much room in that wall for a secret. Uh, well... No, there's actually plenty of room in that wall for a secret. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, but it's not in that wall. Hello? Sewer station armory key. Okay. Okay, let's not lock ourselves in here, shall we? Wait a minute. Ah, oh, it's just the same switch. I've seen through the clock, I think. Yeah. <coughs> but still, this banner, this banner troubles me. But, uh, I guess... I guess we'll leave these fine folks alone. Their coughing and throat clearing is better than their uh, snoring anyway. Alright, map wise. So this is. So it seems like it should be accessible given the. Uh, Red. Oh, we've got rope arrows, remember. Although these overhangs are going to make roping into these a little more difficult than usual. That's alright. <laughs> Maybe. Are we here then? Probably just the wind. Ladder. Can't a guy nap around here? Oh, 
honestly being up here is looks like it's nothing. Not ideal. Oh he saw me. Whoops. Guess it's nothing now. Dropping down. Although that guy's searching for him, he might actually see me. <laughs> if I do so. Maybe I'll wait till he comes down. There he goes. I saw him! The thief! I saw him! Great, he. Walked the guard, alerted the guard to my presence. I I can't hear the guard right here, but... And all the guards should calm down while I'm busy looting this room. None of these banners are choppable. Does that mean they're all hiding secrets, or they're just not set up to be choppable? Hello, keys, sewer key, captain's office key. These are good, these are good keys. The sewer station armory. Okay, I should try picking the lock, shouldn't I? We could get into the sewer right here. One of these two. But we have... Quite a lot of streets to rob, right? Office and barracks. Shit, how did you see me? I... That is a strange attack. That's not that's not the way people normally attack with swords, but you gonna do that again? I'm just I'm just I'm curious. No, no, okay, that's 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 more like a typical I should stop flapping about if you're gonna actually hurt me. Oof. I was hoping you would T-pose again. Damn it. I didn't expect him to see me immediately. I don't even have a healing potions either. So it was a mistake to try and get him to T-pose again. Well, let's hope we can get a hit point or two from these. One's better than zero. That's not even locked. I had the office key, but it wasn't even locked. Oh, that's a double double locker. Can I pick this one? Do any of my keys open it? No, it's a locker. I mean, it's a, it should be a locker key that I'm looking for, right? But, uh... Where's the chicken? Zero nutritional value. We all just mechanically recovered meat. Water arrow. Bag of spice. What's that? Some clothing. Okay, so we've got one locker we couldn't open. Do we see anything in it? Not really. 
I guess if I find a locker key, I need to come back. Hello? There's a secret lever in the toilet? Where it would be... I wish I was pissed, I presume. Well... I guess Garrett's not afraid to get his hands dirty. Oh. Uh, you are right, man? You got a lot of... Concentrated slow fall potion. That's... Only one of these is really useful. Dear Jerry, I know you can read, so read this note at all costs. For God's sake, do not drink those potions you stole. They are so concentrated that if you drink them, you'll surely be poisoned by them. In high doses, slow fall potions are toxic, cause addiction, paranormal floating, muscle weakness, paralysis, and breathing failure, leading to death. The toxic effects are even stronger when consumed together with alcohol. With regards, bless you, the alchemist. I mean, he's got the paranormal floating happening. It was a good idea to pretend being illiterate or whatever. Don't want to write Tefan reports from nothing, Mr. Captain. Still have to practice writing. How good I found this secret place in the vents. Here I can drink and practice writing in peace. Hope nobody will find this place. Interesting, what are these old vents and why nobody knows about them? Nothing. They think they can't read and let me carry messages they want to keep in secret. Even give me extra coins, stupid tappers. That new guy, Princess, or what is his name, just gave me a note today to give it to the alchemist. When I asked what it is, he said he needs some kind of oil for one machine. One machine? Machine. Taffer. It was perfume. Never heard a word like this before. But I'm sure it is not for machines. I think Alchemist suspects I can read. As I handled him the note from Francis, so this is how he writes his name. I tried to talk a little with him. This Taffer is talky. He said nothing like perfume. Insisted he was talking about oils and machines. But nothing like that was written on that note. I think he noticed I didn't have a stupid face because I don't understand what he says, but because I realised he shouldn't know about any oil. Again said to Alchemist for perfume, or oil as Francis would say. Seen some nice blue bottles and asked what it is. The Alchemist said it's a special potion. When he was away for the perfume, I swatched and snatched one. Hope you won't notice. It tastes great. I feel so light when I drink it. Must get some again. Need a plan to break in and take some of it. It's just too costly to buy it. 150 gold for such a few. Seems Captain also suspects I'm not illiterate. Must be more careful. Success! I found a child who sneaked into the alchemist shop and stole a lot of potions. And the kid only demanded 10 gold for that. Oh, uh, seems the alchemist really knows I can read. And also he knows I am the responsible for stealing these blue potions. But he only warns about not drinking them. Stupid alchemist. Just doesn't know how good they are. Joey's key, that must be for his locker. Well, I mean... I just concentrated slow pull potions or something else. Are you right there, Joey? I don't know if you're unconscious or dead, but... Uh... Right, I'm not sure I can... Well, I can probably jump back up there again, right? That's only six. I can mantle that. Okay, I can't get back up if I get down now. So, uh, let's not. Let's get back and see if this is Joey's keys for the locker. That we couldn't open. Oh. No, it's taller than I thought. Oh, well. I guess I can't mantle up that. To the guard, I heard. Walking around here, didn't hear my clanging. Seems alright. <laughs> oh shit, there's another torch there. I don't want to waste two water arrows. Maybe it's not a guard, maybe it's a, a thief. 
Find your way into the sewers. Okay, well, this wasn't the way I wanted to get in. But there's ways back out, so that's alright. Okay, so we're in the sewers and north south bit of them, right? So probably. Hmm, I mean. Probably that bad, right? What's this, uh, what's this say? Private property, keep away. Violators and trespassers will be attacked on site. Asking for me to go in, right? That looks like another door as well. A note to all of you, Tuffers. We must stay on a low profile to avoid attention of the city watch. From now on, the armory is locked to avoid the misuse of the toys inside. If you need anything from here, I'm responsible for the key. Also, the gate of the secret entrance remains unused for the time being. That Francis guy of the mechanists must be kept away from the torch on the other side. I don't want him to stumble into our basement. So it's the safest thing is to leave this torch alone. But... Quiet. What was that? Is this the armory key that I've got? No. A different armory? Are you okay there, rats? <laughs> oh, there's a whole list of those mummy and daddy rats and a whole lot of baby rats. Well, I ate the cheese, I'm afraid. Otherwise, I would have kept it for, for you. Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna have to go through here. <sighs> and this guy decides to leave the hallway. I mean, I could just knock him out, but... <sighs> Maybe I have to if he doesn't leave the hallway soon. <coughs> Alright, man. Want me to? Oh, sorry. Lady? Put you on the bed, but I might. Mm, I say I might make noise here. Mm, something's going down. This is Tina. I might make noise. I make noise anyway. Find you before the guards do. You can't hide. Hmm. You'd think I'd be used to rat noises by now. <clears throat> you would think it. Unconscious body <laughs> without a name. So these. It was saying Thieves Den. I don't know if that's where we are or not. I mean. Doesn't seem impossible. Definitely seem like disreputable types here. Oh, hello. Yeah. Hmm. East End key. Okay, so he's looking out there, and there's a guard patrol in there as well. So that's not a good door for me to go through.
Well, the den key doesn't open this door. I, and I can't pick it, right? Yeah. I mean, that's the thieves' armory. Right? I don't want to go in there just yet. Let's see what we got up this way. I'm getting too drunk. Oh, I'm here. Hmm. Hmm. Sounds like there's like four people walking up and down this stairway that's just. Definitely Jolson. Okay, here comes one. Oh, just gonna get used to working side by side with women. Or running from women on the guard these days. Hey, I'm Where's not deaf, you know. Come out here. Come out. Come on. I know you're out there. I won't hurt you. Too much. That's not as good, is it? You know you can't hide forever. This ain't right. You won't stay hidden for long, Tapper. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. Hey, what's mm. this? Footsteps everywhere. Uh, yeah. I tried to jump up the stairs to avoid stepping on the metal, but uh, that's what, of course, woke everybody up. He comes and goes from here? Okay. I lock it? Hmm. I, mean, I don't really want to have him deal with him in here, but I could knock him out. Like uh, with a proactive KOing, well, uh, it's good for the soul, or at least good for the survival. Hello? Oh, just out to the street. Hello, they've got some oh, 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 bad stuff. Got some decent wine hidden in there, amongst all the bad stuff. Carrot on the shelf, not. <laughs> yeah, fine, whatever. See yourself. Hmm. Oh, the machine's broken. I believe the coffee machine's broken again. Can't get a single cup of coffee. That's locked. Okay. So this will be the coffee house, okay. Wrong 
wrong, the wrong keys again. I'm getting my shortcuts. Okay, so I thought the coffee house had a way out to the street, but maybe not. I don't see anything behind these. Oh shit, someone's come looking for me, huh? We can deal with them. Damn it. Mm. I think everybody's all alerted. I'm hearing faint muffled yells. I guess somebody saw me when I was trying to. Uh... Saw me behind him, and it's yeah, annoying when that happens. Don't worry, I think there was something a while back. Yeah, there was. Drunk? I mean, he's supposed to be drunk and he kills me that easily? That's. Nah. Well, what a. Guess we know not to go that way. Alright, so now we're back out of the streets. This is west. Oh, is this going into Great Border then? Not really where I want to be. Think he was there. These guys are patrolled very randomly in a very tight spot. Which is... Well, I managed to pick expert, but this doesn't feel like expert so much as excess of patience mode. Expert knowledge of the level already, maybe. I don't know. going. You just go back down to go up. I mean, it's... I mean, these are completely random patrol paths. This basically means they have to knock them out because you can't predict how long they're going to be anywhere. Let's... 
And the, the fact that the, the noise is just reverberating everywhere means I can't... I can't really keep track of where they are just from sound alone. Uh, anywhere on the staircase, they sound almost identical, so... Yeah. These are all sort of not, not to be cut down, which is very weird. I hate those coffee house shifts. Unlike the casino down there, most of the guests, guests are fat noblemen with an ego as huge as an old fat bird. What are they thinking? They give me orders and call me a lazy servant because coffee doesn't boil as fast as they want. Of course they don't give tips at all because it's an honour to serve them with twice my best efforts. Those tappers. At least there are some who can act as if they weren't the builder himself, descending to poor little people that even like this a little bit. In the casino people are much friendlier and most of the guys are so handsome, but of course not as handsome as my kid are. They are a lot friendlier than the nobles. Even when they're drunk, they treat me as a woman, not some dumb dog waiting for orders. Even if a noble happens to appear in the casino, he acts quite normally. Probably they don't dare not to treat us as human there. Bert is right, though. We must keep up a cover to be less suspicious, or at least not so obvious, to make illegal business down here. And that coffee house is perfect for that. On the other hand, he could send some of the boys to make a day or two in the coffee house. I'd wonder how those ta how would those taffers treat a tough boy like Gideon? Probably those cowards wouldn't dare badmouth him, even if he messed things up, or even praised the builder if it worse, only their coffee got spilled. I'd also watch Tina serving coffee. That would be so fun. We could even make bets how much she could endure before shouting, Are you ready to die? to one of the guests in rage. But it's still better than if I had to work for them all day or join a place like Madame Valarie's. Working on the streets also seems to become dangerous nowadays. Being beaten by a savage is a thing, but being locked within Shoals Gate or disappearing forever is another. A few of my friends, previously working at Hull, are missing lately. I have doubts if I'll ever see them ever again, and I don't think their so-called customers were responsible for that. It's better to endure those stupid noblemen every two days than become a servant under a tyrant noble, or worse, being killed or kidnapped by whoever does this to women on the streets. Life is good enough here. We're paid better as I could have ever dreamed of if I were a servant. The boys defend us from whatever danger lies in the casino, and they say Ziggy struck a deal with the City Watch to turn a blind eye to our underground activities. Luckily, tomorrow the coffee house is closed, so I have a day off. Perfect opportunity to go out with my good Gideon and wear those gold earrings he gave me. Of course, I mustn't forget to have some perfume. Dory said I can use hers if I can't visit the alchemist to buy some myself. Probably I won't have time for that. Alright, close that because I'm going to clatter, unfortunately. So, someone has a key. Is this door pickle? Great. He wakes up because he picked a lot. Damn, that's Francis. That stupid machine is tapper is lazy as hell. That gear had removed all the torches in the sewers and also broke one of the planks in the process. Of course, he isn't as quick with installing electrical lights, which would be his job. Now it's completely dark down there. Also, we can't even use the secret pathway in the sewers because he's actively seeking the owner to remove the torches from there, including the one open the opening the secret door to the basement. Fortunately, one of the boys has some sibling who joined the smacky mechanist order and is close to some of the high rank members. They guarantee they'll deal with that Brantus and burn us some kind of special lamp until the electric lights are installed. Well, alright. Strange place for a chest, but I guess he doesn't have much room. Alright, it's just, uh. Doesn't have sim on it. But we must keep a low profile in the future. The casino is running fine and is well profitable, even paying a 15% cut to you know who for protection. The problem is that guarding the casino and gambling requires fewer men than we have, and it's not fun at all. If it goes on like this, these tappers will surely make something wrong. The income of the casino is simply not enough to pay cuts to everybody, but sending away anyone would be a very bad idea. But damage our men's trust, and those who must leave will likely turn against us, so we should find some better solution if we can. Do you have any good ideas, Sigmund? P.S. Don't call me Ziggy in front of these tappers again. Kills my reputation as a boss. I don't think I need that. 
It didn't seem to have any, any kind of clues, right? Yeah. Right, get on the... Okay. I don't think it's dropped by the wastebasket. Well, you're up there. Are any keys on anything on top of the bookcase? No. All right. More locked things. I don't know where the keys are for. Okay. Wasting my water arrows on all these people. looking my way, were they? Well, you've got a key. That's good news for me. I'll turn you up sooner or later. Someone's oh, getting... Hey, how are you? Over here! Help! Rest in peace, friend. I'll find out who did this. Murderers! Help! Over here! Keep your eyes open. I think we've got a break in. Well, stay alert. Something's going on. Yeah, you're not wrong. Help! Help! Huh? This guy's dead. <clears throat> I'm not kidding. Come on out. Some people pulling out clutches in front of them and they don't even notice. <gasps> Anyone else wants some? This is not going the way I planned, but uh, it is technically working, so uh all these little metal plates on the ground everywhere between rooms. Help! Oh, they walk around like a clang everywhere. Troubles about. Keep sharp. Mm-hmm. I think there's something weird going on. Yeah, you're not wrong. Help! Help! Don't Troubles let him about. get me! Keep sharp. Of your yelling. Ooh. Food. Well, oh, one hit point. Oh, more food. Lots more food. Some some food. All right. uses butler. What? What name? It's a strange caption. Is he supposed to have a name and they haven't given him a name yet? Or is they commenting on his name? Is that Garrett saying is his name is Butt? Or is Garrett just talking about his butt? I don't know. Double checking now. None of these guys have anything on their uh, belts. Less. Couldn't make it less to hide them than to stalk them, but I guess it works for hiding them too. Since I just found the light switch. Well, that's one way to clear out the gambling gun, I suppose. wake up in. There's bloody metal everywhere. Can't see any light switches in here either. That's what I was looking for in the other room, but... Cheap fake vintage but drunk it. Okay. That one's real enough. Oh, 
close that door and keep that guy who's busy clearing his throat from uh, hearing me. Can't spin the roulette wheel. But I want to. Alright. Right, and we know where that goes. It just goes up to the coffee house. Price list. Uh, beer, quality beer, original handwrite 80. White wine, red wine, vintage wine. Uh -huh, that's the 75 gold, the fake one. A goblet fire water. You can have your drink served in a golden goblet to be like a nobleman. Five gold. Wow, okay. I guess if you're spending 75 on the vintage wine, then you have an extra five. Food, cheese with bread, deal egg with apple and cucumber, fried vegetables, carrot and cucumber. Drunk customers have to pay double the price. Drunk customers cannot order a golden goblet. Sorry. If you break a goblet or plate, you have to pay a fine of one gold. If you break a golden goblet, you have to pay a fine of 30 gold. Private area, authorized personnel only. Alright, so we've got the key for this place, right? No. Got a bunch of keys. Or is that the armory? No, because it's a sewer station armory. So whose keys are that? I mean, a bunch of keys I've found, and there's more? This is the Thieves' Den. Why isn't there a Thieves' Den key? Come down here. Oh shit. Something's wrong. Yeah, you're not wrong. I mean, you're quite right. I'm gonna count to three, so you better come out. One, two. Didn't I come from down there? What's he doing standing there? Could have sworn I came from that direction. Come on. Come to Papa now. You can join the rest of your friends up here. <laughs> yeah, I came through there. He was the guy who's standing guard here, right? I guess the guy who's patrolling was one of the guys who came up to get to to find us. So it means the sewers is more accessible now. But first, I've got important business to do here. Somewhere here. There we are. Enjoy. That should feed your whole family. Like a day. Well, that's an armory, but it's not the armory I've got a key for. And none of the thieves seem to have a key for that. There's three different keys missing. That one, not that one. So we've got the armory. Right, oh, I didn't read this. A note to all of you tappets. We must stay on a low profile to avoid attention of the city watch. From now on, the armory is locked to avoid the misuse of the toys inside. If you need anything from here, I'm responsible for the key. Also, the gate of the secret entrance remains unused for the time being. That Francis guy, the mechanist, must be kept away from the torch on the other side. I don't want him to stumble into our basement. So the safest thing is to leave this torch alone, but... Wait, the Francis guy on this side? This is the sewers. What do you mean well, that's on the other side of this? Because this door doesn't... This torch doesn't open that secret entrance. They knocked out Bird, didn't they? Was Bird one of the ones that knocked out? <laughs> right, they've been replacing all the torches. Okay. Hey, you think that was anything? Nah. Oh, it's not actually dark here. It is dark here, okay. Probably just the wind. <sighs> the 
work, Garrett. Do you mind actually dismantling? Thank you. Hello, some tiny spice coins up the back there. Not hiding them well enough. Oh, that doesn't open. I'm sorry, rats. I don't have any more cheese for you. What the? Looks like it's nothing. Must have been rat. Uh huh. To see me. Damn you! <laughs> You're afraid of a little water, are you? We can take this guy. How do I get out of? How do I get out of here and avoid him? Attention! This part of the sewers has been infested with spiders. Due to the danger, the area remains locked till the problem is resolved. Z doesn't have this key, but now I can't get to where I need to be. So I can't cut in from the sewers. This is a different part of the sewers? I'm closing in, Tapper. Oh no, not is it the same? Wait, I didn't come in there. Did I? Oh, I dropped down that. I dropped down that circular hole, I guess. And that was the first door I went in. I don't remember. Oh, well, he's going. Oh, I came through this metal. Yeah, I came through this metal place and then across there. Right. But he's going back to his guard post now. That's all right. Let's wait till he does so, because if I walk into the light, he might just notice me anyway, because he's probably still quite alert. I didn't realise there was this much to the sewers. Surprised I've just got a main entrance and a secret back entrance. It's a little weird. That was a private property sign. Okay, this parts of the sewers are closed off and are not actual doors, which is nice. To see, is it the same same message? Yeah. Look at the mechanists, though. Anyone home? Seems quite enough. these banners. Can I chop these ones down? Yeah. At least I can destroy mechanist shit. Ah, that's the way we'd like it. No, that's not a door. Listening at a thing that's not a door. Alright. Quietly, yeah. Oh, that door doesn't look like it's going to open. There's plants all overgrown there.
killing spiders. Dang it. I should just use my sword. Maybe it can't get to me. What's up, these little spiders? Not only little spiders. <laughs> That's all right, you can go there. If they sold themselves, <laughs> I can't hit them with my sword, but I don't need to. Oh, that's funny. Oh, yeah. That was a big one, a big green one. Until it calms down, so I can get it with one, one broadhead. Hmm. This place is collapsing. Still pretty angry. Two on it. I mean, maybe that's okay. There's no one out there, at least. Oh, he's been shooting them. Hmm. 
Right. I need a key for that. Is my, my camera being a bit weird? Baby ones, okay. Got out of this. <laughs> gotcha. Quick save. Now it's going back. See me now. Oops. Oh, he jumped in. All right, fair enough. Okay, any more spider sounds? None that I can hear. Didn't even notice the flashing light until now. Oh, the mechanists were here trying to fight the spiders. Plan Quentin. The explosives have been prepared in the sewer station just next to the door that supposedly belonged to the house of Mr. Martinez. If he refuses to long stop us still, then thou know what to do. Bring us thou a few brethren to help thy undermining of that house. Father Caris wants to see that place torched in the glory of the builder. Friend Tickspring. Exploded mine. Oh, ha <laughs> So they tried to blow up this door, I guess. And uh, blew themselves up. Yeah, all these bad minds. Hmm, well. That'll teach you. I thought the, the spiders that killed them, but now it's their own folly. I've dealt them this death blow. Now get on the door, don't... Yeah. More dead spiders underneath the bridge there. Alright, so there would have been another couple that I had, would have had to deal with. Were it not for their own clumsiness. Clumsitude? Is that a word? Hello. Actually, seem to be seeing me or reacting to me, but I don't know if that means you are friendly or not. Oh, hello. Where is this? I don't know, but uh, coming out of a sewer is not the way I normally go about uh, coming out of a toilet or in. It's not my usual strategy, but uh, we're going to brand new house here. So, uh, I guess next episode we'll find out where it is. So, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you then.